I'd like to thank everyone again for coming. If you're just tuning in to us, this is JMC Live every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we just finished up talking about a breaking news of the TSA event. Uh, we're going to try and follow more of that story later and probably mm -hmm. write something in our Eternal Flame News. So look for eternalflamenews.blogspot.com to have even more information about what's happening. Because... Uh, it's getting dangerous, mm -hmm. and I'm worried about the people today after Thanksgiving. We're going to do this. Now, the next story is going to set Miranda off, too, and it's great to have Miranda back with us. Have a commentary on here, people. <laughs> have missed hearing Miranda. So here we go. A Apple Valley couple. Oh, no. Miranda already knows what I'm talking about. I think I do. Twin Cities couple are putting their abortion for an online vote. Let's vote for abortion. Oh. An online poll is asking whether or not the woman who is 17 weeks pregnant, birth or not, birth or not, How are they we want to give the people a chance to voice their opinion in a real situation where it makes a difference, says Alicia Arnold, 30 years of age, of Apple Valley. Here's my thought. If, we, if abortion wasn't legalized... Every person that votes oh, could, could, be, could be contributing to the murder of a child. So if, if abortion was not legal in this country, every person that cast that vote could possibly go to jail. Here's what else she wants to do. I want to wait longer because I wanted to lose <gasps> weight and have a healthier lifestyle. I wasn't sure what to do. The solution, a poll. We are using it, I quote, to help determine our decision, but we will make the final decision. Oh, this is disgusting. The public can weigh in until December 7th. On Thursday, the vote was 23,840 to 5,978 for birth. So people want her to get have birth? But there are over 5,000 people that want the baby to be aborted. Oh my gosh. Now, I know that there's a horror film out there where... And, and I, I have friends that watch horror films, mm -hmm. and this is, this, I don't know if it's based on a true story, but uh, my, my friend was telling me about this story because he works with the police department, and he said he had something similar happen. So I'll tell you the police department. Someone makes a, makes a website where you can vote on how fat women can get, and the fatter they get, you know, the more money they raise, and then they have sex with these, like, over 1,000-pound women. This is no different. It's, well, it's, do you remember, it should be illegal. Do you remember the movie that we saw? about this this website where people would vote and when they would each whenever they would log in and they would vote it would be they they would kill a person faster. See, see that, that that's had, what that's what we're talking about. That's basically what that's it is. That's the same thing. It's like these weird horror movies that are out there that people watch and I don't promote watching horror movies, but I have people in the police department who look for people online and find people who are into these things. I people cannot. who watch horror films and people who um, who would vote go ahead okay, and abortion. Here, here's, You're one step can, away from saying you would actually kill somebody. Okay, can I say something? How come in our country when a man, when a person kills a woman who is pregnant, he is, he is sentenced for a double murder. But if a woman or um, somebody has an abortion and kills the unborn child, it is not a murder. Here's the how, how can it not be murder? When some person kills the mother and the child, it's murder. Who is not born? The child is unborn, and this person kills a woman who's pregnant. He, this, that person is charged with double murder. Double homicide, whatever. Oh, yeah. That This is ridiculous. But I don't know how these people can... can, can feel that this is okay. I mean, they must have no conscience, no conviction at all about this child. What if they keep the child? Are they going to cast a poll? Oh, when should we feed the child every two... When should we feed our child? Should we let the child starve? Or should we feed it? Should I breastfeed it? Or should I... You know, are they going to do this through the whole... If the child is alive, this would be the most demented thing. Would they put a poll up for every time? Should we feed our child or let it starve today? Should we exactly. change her diaper or let her or let her sit and fester in her own feces? His it's, or her own feces. See that, I see mean, that's, that's, that's my... Um, on, on another note, we're talking about, you know, if, is a fetus alive or not? We have some Eternal Flame News data 
from the youngest spokeswoman ever in Canada. And for those of you in Canada, if if a man kills a woman, if the man and the woman, in, in, you know, you don't, you, you know, kills a woman, the baby is not considered manslaughter. It's just a woman. That's in Canada. Yeah. A pregnant woman is killed in Canada. Her her unborn child is not considered no. a, a human. No, a, 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 no, a human. Now here's but in thing. America, let's go to the other side of the world to Bangkok. To a Buddhist temple. Dozens of white plastic bags lay carefully in a rain's rows. Each sack is knotted at top and contain the remains of 2,000 fetuses. Oh my god. Apparently hidden for almost a year to conceal illegal abortions. Oh. The stench draw the police to the old city Tuesdays. Initially, they found more than 300 fetuses, and that number keeps building and building and building. I, you know, I, they said there's m like over a million abortions done every year. That is, that is generations Actually, we're they killing. Said there's like 40 million abortions in America. There is over 50, 50 million in the world. Now think about this. It's getting a little crazy, isn't it? Well, I don't understand how here in America we can say a woman who is pregnant and killed, the person is charged with double murder because, you know, because they killed her unborn child. But yet we have an abortion, but that's not considered killing a human. But if you if you kill the mother along with the unborn child, it is. This is ludicrous. It's ludicrous. It's it's just ridiculous. There, there's, All right, it's guys. Insanity. Let's see how much we've got plenty of time. All right, now we're going to change gears with this one though. Um, we at JMC Ministries, we're a free website, we're a free ministry, we're not profit, we're not non-profit. The only profit we have is Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, what if I told you that yesterday the web censorship bill has passed through the Senate? What is the web censorship bill? It is essential due to the activity that the Combatant Online Infringement and Counterfix at COCA, C -O -I -C -A, have created a nuclear option which can essentially allow the Attorney General to take suspicious websites off. They will take the domain name and they will put it in the hands of the government and they will say off. When you go to these websites, a government window will pop up and say the government has seized this website. Most people that are common to see these things are in this first place that this will happen is going to be copyright infringement, meaning people who illegally post videos on the internet. Movies. Now, I understand that. Now, what happens if the continuing socialist and communist direction that America is going, what happens when Bible promises for you is illegal? JMC Live will be illegal. <clears throat> when I say that it is illegal in the eyes of God to, to, to perform a homosexual act, um, it's illegal to cuss, it's illegal to gamble, it's in the eyes to, of God. It's illegal to, in the eyes of God, it is a sin in the eyes of God to kill an unborn child. To kill an unborn child. What if the law states Ooh. in America that you can't talk that way anymore because it's deemed a clear and present danger to a minority group such as a homosexual or someone who commits an abortion. Do you know how close America is to passing laws where freedom of religion no longer exists because they not only start with the whole separation of church and state, they go even further and say, well, these minorities are being oppressed because this person is saying, well, they don't have to be, a they don't have to be that way anymore. How do you think communism, Marxism, and socialism exist? Because they say a certain group of people are not only wrong, but you're not even allowed to do what you want. Now the difference between a true conservative, a Christian, a true conservative follower of Jesus Christ, they will are supposed to teach that you have a free will and you have a choice to follow God or not. Whether you're going to sin or not. You are not a robot. And here in America... I don't believe you're a robot. And our, that's why our, our founding fathers came to America. Because we wanted freedom. We wanted to be able to give in thanks. To give in thanks. To be able to say... 
that we have a reason and a purpose of our lives. Too many people do not understand why we are here and where we come from. They think, well, my mom just created me and I'm here to pay the bills and I'm here to eat and, and, and go to school if I go to school. No, that's a basic living. There is more to life than just that. You can have life and have life more abundantly. To have life more abundantly does not mean you're going to be rich. I are not going to be rich. Jesus Christ told the rich man, "Well, hey, I'm the rich guy. Hey, Jesus, do you want my money? Hey, I can feed these. I can do." It. He's like, "No, I want you to not just do that. I want you to take all the stuff that you have and give it away." You don't hear that in the socialist group. You don't hear that in the communist group. You're hearing all these give away free without any things or doing these different things. There are stipulations and things going on in the world and going on in the United States and across well, the when place the communists, that people don't understand. When the communists and the socialists say we're going to give you something free, that means they're going to take away from, from someone else to give to you. Stealing from Peter to pay Paul, that's what they do. I mean, what's happening here is the federal government is being allowed to censor the internet without due process. Now that's scary. Now, I understand the government needs some, you know, the, the government needs to have some kind of control of the internet. Here's what you do. Instead of just automatically shutting stuff down, why not, when you register a domain, why not have some, you know, extra list on the thing of what's going to be happening on the website yeah. and say, when you put it up, we're going to monitor it, you know, you know, periodically. And mm -hmm. if you start doing stuff wrong, then bam. I understand this bill would have to be. In I effect. think the big, uh, also the biggest problem is. Child porn, sex trafficking, and you know, like copyright infringement. I think that's the biggest thing going on. So, what's going to happen? Dropbox, Rapid Share, SoundCloud, um, uh, LimeWire, and all that kind of stuff. Bam, you're gone. You're yeah. out of business. Mm -hmm. You know, it's crazy though. Hey, we're going to take a break and we will return with more information for you. <laughs> 